A shade with Sterling Executive Band coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WebSavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks very much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit, welcome. Please look around, make yourself at home, and please consider subscribing. Well, we've had a great shade with Sterling uh, Executive Man Shade Soap. I'm going to have another shade with it, too. I'm going to kind of move this shade along a little bit, though. Everything's going to be identical to the uh, first shave I had with the Sterling Shave Soap. I'm going to be using my Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. Uh, I am going to be using a Chieftain Mild Razor Blade in there. Now, they're not branded like that, but it is a mild razor blade. This is going to be the second use for this razor blade. Uh, I'm going to finish it off with a Shash Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, also, uh, Sharp Dressed Man, uh, Aftershave Splash, because it's got the same kind of vibe as the Executive Man Shave Soap. The Executive Man Shave Soap is based on Creed Aventus, and to my nose, Sharp Dressed Man, and also Mountain Man Aftershave Balm, both have that Creed Aventus kind of thing going on there. That's got all the bases covered. Let's go ahead and wet the face. And get to the shave. I got some hot water on top of the puck here. Just gonna put it in the water. Let's go. Now I'm using the Sterling uh, shave brush. This is the Pro Handle shave brush. Again, this is really a nice shaving brush. Very soft knot, 26 millimeter knot. And it has a very, very nice profile to it, very sleek profile. Uh, and it fits nicely in the hand as well. And uh, just got that classic shaving brush look to it. Nothing overly ornate, very, very simple, clean design. But again, fits nicely in the hand. I'm really gonna load this brush up. Uh, these shaving soaps from Sterling most of them, majority of them are tallow based. It's of course the tallow based shaving soap and this scent is just beautiful. This really executive man, this really, <laughs> they named it right. They really did. Okay, that should be enough right there. That's enough of a brush load there. And man, it just makes a lather in a snap. Boom! Lather, this stuff is just phenomenal. I mean, look how much. That is just amazing. A nice, thick, rich, creamy carpet of lather. In no time flat. Really. <laughs> it's terrific. It really is. I've been using the Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. Uh... I don't know, this is probably going to be my third shave with it, with this shaving soap. It just is such a nice, smooth, efficient razor. And any blade in it works nicely. The King C. Gillette blade that I had was a nice, smooth blade. But these Vikings blade razor blades, the mild ones, really are nice and mild. Okay, plenty of lather still there. Just... Rinse my hand a little bit. Here's my razor. We're all set. I'm gonna go ahead and just heat this under some water here. Hot, hot water coming out of the tap. I'm gonna swirl in the sink to kind of bring it up to uh, proper temperature. We're down to the proper temperature just to get it nice and warm. A little bit wet. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is so nice and smooth. And you know, I think the second use for this blade was is, is better than the first. I really do. You can get a good five to seven shaves 
from one of these razor blades. And it's wonderful. It really is. Oh yeah, that's terrific. If you're looking for a nice mild razor blade that's sharp and very efficient, boy, you know what? These are, these are nice. Where's my wrapper? I don't have my, well, don't have my wrapper, but it looks like that right there. <laughs> That's nice. No tugging, no pulling, just a nice smooth shave. There's enough slickness and protection there where I can go over those areas a little bit, even though there's not some even though if there isn't any cream there, there's still enough slickness there. And I like to try to get that chin area, especially when I'm on camera, so I don't, I don't want to miss it. All right. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. It's a nice pass. You know, if I had to, I could run out the door to the office. Really, that's that's really really nice. That's nice. I mean, it's going to get me through part of the day before it comes back. But it's it, it's really. I mean, one pass. Yeah, it could. I could run out to the office right now. Second pass, as I always say, is usually my money pass. That's where. Really, I get the I get the nice nice smooth payoff. Sometimes, uh, with the chieftain, I'm done after two passes. Sometimes I need two passes, a touch up, maybe even a third pass. We'll see. We'll see what we need. we'll see what we need here. But that first pass was so nice. I doubt I'm going to need a third pass, even though I love doing a third pass sometimes. But you know Sterling is just a great lathering soap. I mean, here, look, let me show you. Look. I mean. All right. That's got it. Okay, here we go. We're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. That is, <laughs> that is so nice. That is such a comfortable shave. Really, just really nice. Again, just want to make sure I get that chin area. Sometimes when I'm talking on camera, you know, I miss it. All right, here we go. And it does such a nice job of getting all these little bits up here. I mean, they're gone. 
<laughs> I mean, they're just they're just gone. That's fantastic. You know, and the razor head, the razor head encloses the end tabs, so uh, it's still very maneuverable to get up underneath there. You don't have to worry about that the end of that tab tagging your nostril or your earlobe, something like that. Okay. Uh, getting ahead of myself. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself because I know I'm done. <laughs> oh, wow. That's beautiful. What a, what a nice shave. Man, that is such a nice shave. All right, I'm going to do my two final rinses here. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Alright, three splashes or so really gets rid of the excess slickness. That's a nice shave. <laughs> That's really a nice shave. Alright, here's my uh, cold water rinse. Okay, cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's beautiful. It's a nice shade. That is just a really clean, comfortable, a close shave. Man, is that a close shave. That is so nice. Alum Block, Phoenix Shaving, no slip grip, dry dock system. Just going to run under some cold water here, see what kind of feedback we get. Very smooth. Maybe a slight, maybe a little zing. Not even. That's nice. Here's the... Uh, Dry dock system. Here's the tray. Just put it in there like that. Then you can shake it off. There it is. Let the air do its job in drying it out. I'm going to uh, go ahead and clean this brush but before I do that. I had more than enough. Look at the peaks on that. I had more than enough for a third pass. Maybe a third pass and some touch up. Uh, I'm going to clean the brush and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Look at that. I mean, they clean up in a snap. These synthetic brushes are just absolutely wonderful. And this is a nice one, the uh, Sterling Shave Brush with the Pro Handle. Beautiful synthetic knot, 26 millimeter. Really nice, nice loft, good backbone, very, very soft. Yeah, I like this one a lot. And again, it's got a nice, clean profile to it. Fits nicely in the hand. I like this brush a lot. Very, very nice. All right, let's just finish it off with some sharp dressed man because the, the the it's in the same neighborhood uh, scent wise. I really would like to get the executive man aftershave splash, but this time around the only thing I bought was the brush and the soap. So there's some executive um, sharp dressed man there. That's nice, nice scent. Nice little brace right there. This, I gotta remember, don't need a lot. Do not need a lot at all. Hang on. Let's get that down there like that. Okay, that's about all I need right there. <laughs> if I need a little more, I can get a little more. But this is really all I'm gonna need for upstairs. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Again, Mountain Man in the same neighborhood, scent-wise, with Executive Man. I mean, it's in the neighbor, same neighborhood. It's not identical, but it's there. All three of them, to my, to my nose, are uh, all part of that Creed Aventus kind of a vibe going on. Well, great shave. Wonderful, wonderful shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, thanks to the... Uh, Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. Boy, this is, uh, like I say, it's the razor that brought me back to the traditional wet shave. And these Viking Blade Mild Razor Blades, 
boy, these are really nice. And the second shave with this blade, I, really, I think it was better than the first blade. And you'll get a good solid five shaves from these blades. I have gotten seven shaves from them and uh, terrific, terrific shaves. Uh, executive man, wow, what a great shaving soap. Uh, <laughs> just have to just towel this off a little bit here because of the overflowing of the lather. And that's the point. Uh, you get a great lather from these shaving soaps every single time. They are, I'll put the lid back on, I'll take it off and let it dry later on, um, you know, after I turn the camera off. Uh, you get a great lather from these shave soaps every single time. Um, tallow, lanolin, shea butter also contains almond oil, coconut milk, lanolin, uh, well, I said lanolin, but it's got some great, great ingredients in it. And you saw the lather it makes. A lot of nice protection, nice glide, really, really comfortable shave. Uh, Sterling Executive Man. Boy, this is like my third or fourth shave with this. Uh, this these are nice. These are really, really, they make some really, really nice shave soaps there. Uh, I'd like to pair this up with the uh, Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Shading. Get that Formula CK6 ingredient from that going on in my pre-shave. And then you power it up with this. Boy, oh boy. that's th Then you really got something going on. Now, th that's really nice too. So if you're looking for a towel-based soap and a good pre-shave soap, you know, anything from Sterling, pair it up with the, uh, the Phoenix uh, Shaving uh, Cube 2.0. Phoenix Shaving, they make some great shave soaps too. They're great. Those are more on the vegan end. So if you want something with vegan, Phoenix Shaving. If you want something tallow, you know, Sterling. So many choices out there. It's like I always say, if you're not doing the traditional wet shave, what are you waiting for? There is so much great product out there from soaps to razors to blades to aftershave splashes. It's terrific. There is so much out there. You'll find something that fits your skin type and wallet and budget hey that's it thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it please share please subscribe please like hit that bell so i'll give you all the next time i upload a video comment below let me know check out the executive shaving company use the code mark5 check out my blog georgetune.com slash blog for my comment from george other cartoons other videos like this i'm on facebook check out my facebook page check out phoenix artisan accoutrements for some great great Shaving gear, great shaving soaps, pre-shave soaps, razors, brushes. Yeah, they've got everything there too. Check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash Marks Are Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize, you can find everything in a snap very easily. Check out Sterling Shave Soaps. Check them out. They really make some nice tallow-based shave soaps. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.